first it was really creeping me out to see all these cadavers in the lab. And then what else did we do? We did a pig. We did a cow. Not the whole cow, but like a section of the cow. Um, there's something else we did, girl. Another animal. Was it a cat? Might have been a cat. I think it was a cat. Anyway. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Monica the Diva. So I just wanted to talk to y'all for a minute. I don't know. I'm liking the talk. Just talking to y'all. The top of my ring light is not working. Just the top section. So what's up y'all? I talked to that girl from my job about her comments that she made in the meeting. And all I did was tell her that it affected me in a negative way. So she responded by telling me that the reason why she even made the comments was because she comes in at a different time or needs to for her son. I don't believe that because if that was the case, why wouldn't you talk to the supervisor and ask the supervisor to just help you out? You know what I mean? Why you got to bring it up to corporate? What is corporate going to do? This isn't their plant. They don't manage it. They don't make the hours for it. Like, she knows that. She's been working with us for 10 years, just like how I have. So, I think that she's full of shit. And that's that. And then she got all loud, belligerent and stuff, talking about we can go somewhere right now. Because I told her, I said, if you mess up my job hours or my money, my family gets affected again. We're going to have a problem because I had asked her very nicely. I was like, well, why don't you just talk to someone privately about those issues? You know what I'm saying? Why did you have to bring it up and make it a public conversation where now all the workers are affected? It would have made more sense and we would have had more of a chance of not being personally affected had you had a one-on-one -on -one conversation about your issue. And what if I don't? Then me and you are going to have a problem. Is that a threat? <laughs> I'm like... So now she's like, we can go outside right now. We can go outside right now. Yeah, like I'm going to lose my job for your low life ass. Just the trash, honey. The trash of people. But when I went to school today, this girl told me about a job. And they make just the same amount that I'm making. Girl, I was so excited. I was so happy. Um, I mean, I had a good day. We dissected pigs. I don't know why, but now I'm getting into this whole anatomy dissecting thing. At first, it was really creeping me out to see all these cadavers in the lab. And then what else did we do? We did a pig. We did a cow. Not the whole cow, but like a section of the cow. Um, there's something else we did, girl. Another animal. Was it a cat? Might have been a cat. I think it was a cat. Anyway, I'm finding that very, very interesting. So, that was my day. And I'm going to apply to these jobs as soon as I get off this camera. I don't got to work tomorrow. Tomorrow's Good Friday. So, I'm home. And, yes, girl, I'm just, like, ready for this weekend to start. I've been watching Pretty Little Liars. I don't know why I've gotten back into that. I haven't watched that show in a couple of years, but they're still on TV. And I think that's why I started watching it, because I was just like, what is all the hype about this Pretty Little Liars thing? Like, this girl is dead, and her friends are still trying to find out who killed her and why. All this time, I need to find out what's going on. So, I start watching that again. Um, what else I want to tell you about? Girl, I don't even know. I think that's it. I'm just ready for my birthday. When my birthday gets here, the next day I'll be graduating. At least I have some type of education behind my back. And, oh, I did not do shit today at work. I mean, absolutely nothing. I'm not lying to you at all. I sat on my ass, I did my homework, and then I took a break, watched YouTube. I did my homework. I took a break, watched YouTube. I did my homework. All day. Because that, there's another company that's in my area, like cleaning my area, and they have been cleaning it every day. And I like walked up to the guy and I asked him like, so you're going to do this every day? And he was like, for the next eight weeks? I'm like, thank you. So, you know what I'm saying? Um, living the life, boo.
So why don't we talk about some of these empties that I still haven't talked to y'all about. Like, I don't even know what the hell I've been thinking. They just been chilling there. I haven't shown them to y'all. So let's get into that. All right, so I really, it's got water in it. Um, <laughs> this is the Caress Daily Silk Lotion. I mean, girl, body wash. And it's in white peach and orange blossom. This was pretty good. I mean, I liked it. It's a little bit coming down the side now. But I am not no longer using the Bath & Body Works. I'm done with that because there's just no point in spending that type of money. Whew, there's a lot of water coming out this thing because I set it like in a shower like this. So the water is in here, I guess. Anyway, um, excuse me. Okay, there is no point in me using Bath & Body Works when it's a waste of money. I mean, those last way longer, and I like them better. I'm not using Caress right now. I think I'm using All of Olay, but same difference. So, here are the, I'm pretty sure these are the Equate. Yep. Equate Original Clean Wet Cleansing Towelettes with Vitamin E. So, these are good. This stay wet every, I don't know what's in there, but every towelette, oh, it's some plastic from the side of it or something, but um, every towelette stay wet while I was using them until I got to the very bottom. I don't use those anymore either. I have been taking my makeup off with a makeup eraser, you know, that you can get some from Sephora, and I got me some grapeseed oil, and I have that Garnier like cleansing oil stuff or whatever oh my lights working now it just came back in fully I don't know what the color on the video gonna look like because to me I look a little bit orange a little bit dark but it's dark outside and I got this yellow light on because like I feel like the lighting was not right we can you see what I'm saying it's too damn dark okay So, that's what we got. <laughs> anyway, uh, here is the Tree Hut Shea Body Butter in Moroccan Rose. I did like this. I really like this. It was nice and thick. And I use every little drop, girl. Every little drop. So, I would definitely buy this again. I got this from Ulta. And these are affordable. Because you know them damn body butters, girl. They can run you a whole lot of money. Break your whole bank, okay? Take your whole check out your pocket. So... This right here, this tea tree hut, I'm sorry, tea tree, tree hut body butter, try this out. And that one is seven ounces, pretty good size. So I got this NYX dewy finish and it did make me dewy. Um, for the winter, I like this. I'm not going to use it now in the summertime because I already got a dewy foundation. Um, but I will use this in the winter. This Ole Hemrickson, this lasted a quite a long time. It's not my favorite. Um, moisturizer is a little tiny bit in there, but it's not my favorite. I tried it because I want. I got the set with the vitamin C. It's like the vitamin C serum. I really feel like that works well for my skin. Um, but I wouldn't buy the cleanser. I mean, the moisturizer. Here is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Ugh. I love this. This is a little baby size. I wish I had the full size. Here is, this is an oil that my friend gave me. I'm not going to use it, so I'm just going to throw it out. Um, What eyeshadow is this? Oh, this is that eyeshadow from MAC last year that just did not show up on me at all. Um, I don't even know what this is called, but it broke. I didn't use all of that. It literally cracked that far deep down. You see what I'm saying? It's like half of it gone. But... I didn't like the color. I didn't like anything about this thing. It just, it didn't look like anything. Here is the NYX Micro Brow, and this is an espresso. This is just like the Anastasia Brow Wiz, you guys. So if you don't have the money for that, I suggest you get this one. Um, at the moment, I am using 
Um, so if you can't afford this one, which is like $10, and you can go with the Maybelline, which I think is like $8. This is the Maybelline Brow Precise Micro Crayon. The only thing about this one is that it's very, very soft, and it will go super duper fast. This is a much softer color. This color is... Where are you at? Girl, I'm reading it and I don't see it. I don't know what the color is. It ain't on the package. But anyway, that's my color. It's like a dark brown. I don't know if that's the darkest one or not. I can't remember. But this one is in ebony. This one looks damn near black. This one is the color of my brows today, which is like a deep brown. I prefer the deep brown. I got this cream shadow base from Mica. Or Mika, I think it's Mika Beauty. Y'all see that? Y'all see it? See it, girl? Okay, and it's super dried out. I mean, dried out. Do you see how far away it's pulled from the side? You can see all the way down up in there, girl. All the way up in there. So, um, and I could do this. Nothing. <laughs> it's it's time to go. This is that powder I was telling y'all about that lasts me forever from Clinique. This lasts me two years. And this is the Clinique Stay Matte Sheer Pressed Powder in Stay Amber. And I don't even know. See, it's got a little sticker that means it was in my project pan. So I don't even know if they still sell this. But this thing, girl, get you one of them. It absorbs the oil. It just transfers just a little bit of color. It lasts forever. So I really did like this. This is the Dr. Gross Furic Acid Retinol Brightening Solution. This lasts a long time too. So if I could buy this by itself and then not kill me in the bank, you know, department, I would do it. This is a half an ounce. Half an ounce lasts me quite a while because this is not like a this door keep moving and closing and stuff because the wind. See what I'm saying? Um, this is more like water based, basically. It's not like an oil or anything like that, it's like water-based. It's like a serum, it like directly absorbs into the skin. It's good, girl. This is the Tarte Exposed Lip Gloss. That's gone. It was okay, it was a little bit sticky towards the end, but it was a good gloss. Um, Clinique Easy Pretty, Pretty Easy Liquid Lining Pen. I don't even think I use this. Because I went to use it. See, it still works. But I went to use it over my eyeshadow. I can see the eyeshadow on it. I don't know if y'all are going to see it. But I can see the eyeshadow on the pen itself. I'd have to get closer. Um, and it wasn't going over. I always have to show with it going over my shadow. I don't know if it's because I have like oily lids or... Girl... I don't know. I don't know, girl, but I'm going to keep it. Just like I did with the last one. I'm going to keep it and I'm going to try again. Here's the Paula's Choice Resist Perfectly Balanced Foaming Cleanser. I like this, but I don't like it for the summertime. It's a little tiny, tiny bit drying. It's perfect for the winter. Um because it's not harsh or anything like that, but I do think this would not work that well for me in the summer. Um, it's for normal, oily, and combination skin, and I like Paula's Choice, but it can be kind of pricey for my budget as well. Um, Cause I think like one of these is 20 or $30. I'm not sure. <laughs> and the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black, my favorite. And then I have my hair products. So let's go through the hair products shop. This trash can is full. So Here is on, um, the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Shampoo and Conditioner. Okay? Here's both of them. I like this. It's for dry, damaged hair. All right? It's sulfate free, color safe, all that. It's like natural. Okay? No sulfates or parabens. No mineral oil, synthetic fragrance, blah, blah, blah. 
So, I like this stuff. It's really, really affordable. Like, anybody can get this. Um, but I prefer the one in, like, the super fruit. Okay, come on. This is like the Shea Moisture Facial um, Moisturizer. So, I like the one in this color container, y'all. The magenta. All right. That's my favorite one. It gives me so much slip. I haven't tried that conditioner, but I know if I like the shampoo, I probably like the conditioner too. So I wouldn't do these again. I'd go for the other. Then I have this coconut and hibiscus syrup curl and style milk. I was using this with this, the curling souffle. Okay. These go together. I used these before my hair was curly when I was transitioning and it worked really, really well. But the moment my hair went curly, for some reason when it was really short, it wasn't working. Maybe now that I have a little bit more length, it might work again. Um, I still have some of this. I bought this again, so I have to buy another one of these and try it out because I have tried this with other um, products that are similar to this. Like, again, from the raw shea butter line and it's not working the same way. You have to do coconut hibiscus and coconut hibiscus. That's what works for me. Okay, then I got this jam. Y'all know I'll be buying the jam, but I said it was my favorite. I found my favorite edge control, and it's not this. It's like this, but it's way thicker than this and stronger. Um, I think that it's Cream of Nature. I'm pretty sure it's Cream of Nature. But it has the same consistency. It's like that click, a click. It's like that thick, creamy, thick, clear, transparent, but almost like um, real thick, and I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but it's just clear, and it's like jam, okay? But it's edge control. Bumble and Bumble shampoo and conditioner. This shit was awesome. But Bumble and Bumble is out of my price range, boo, okay? Even when I have a lot of money, I'm too damn cheap. I told y'all this, I'm too damn cheap. But this is awesome. Bumble and Bumble. This verb was better than the Bumble and Bumble, let me tell you. But I know this has got to be high as hell. You know what I'm saying? Because I have looked this up and it, it's, it's not all that um, affordable. But the good stuff is high when it comes to hair care. So I don't know, y'all. Like, I might, you know, have to give up on the Shea Moisture. I'm just saying. But I think I'm going to keep up with the Shea Moisture because that's just, you know, up my little alley. But this is really, really good. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, it, if your hair was, like, needing moisture, it says um, hydrating shampoo and conditioner. Like, it really does do that. So, here is the Carol's Daughter Hair Milk. Now, I kind of like this, um, but I wouldn't like it for my hair now. It doesn't weigh your hair down. It slightly moisturizes it. It gives it shine. Um, and it's just for curls, coils, kinks, and waves. So, Carol's Daughter is, I believe, a natural product as well. So, yep, no parabens, petroleum, mineral oil, artificial color. So, you know, give that a shot. And it's this white, creamy, almost like milky product. I don't know if y'all can see that little bit of it at the bottom there, but that's what it is. And this was super good too. Um, I still am working on the shampoo. I bought this when I went to like the little hair salon. They didn't close down now, girl. But it was like a little place where you could um, study to do hair and stuff and nails. Um, and I used to go there because it was super cheap. It was like $7.50 or something like that for me to get my hair done. Like for them to wash it, trim it, all that. Curl it up. Can't beat it, honey. So I bought this. And this was like $30 set um, of the shampoo and conditioner. And it's from Sebastian. And this one is called Drench. It's the conditioner. So... That is all my hair stuff. Now. And I still got another basket. But we're not going to do that one today. We're going to wait for that one. That one is all of my body care. This one is all of my face care. So. Or makeup removers. So I had tried these simple makeup wipes. Crap. Total crap. But not. As bad as these. These Dickerson's, they're still in the pack. I didn't even use them. I was like, you know what? Fuck this. This is a waste. Okay? This is 
Dickerson's Original Witch Hazel. It says it's supposed to be a refreshing cleansing cloth, but it don't refresh or clean nothing. Like, it literally just was kind of moist. It didn't take any makeup off my face. It was that much of a waste. And these were like $9. They were not 5 or 6 You know what I'm saying? So I was pretty disturbed by that. Y'all know I always have my... Um, my brush heads for my Clarisonic. I always gonna have one of them. I had a couple more. I don't know where they are. They might be in here. Here is the Clean Take the Day Off Makeup Remover. Love it. The Neutrogena or Free Removing Makeup. Um, I like this too, but I like the Clinique, Clinique better. This um, works really, really well. But if you, sometimes it stings, like sometimes, but. I like the clinic better. If you can't afford it, this is right up the alley. No, I love these. Neutrogena makeup removing towelettes. These are my favorite makeup removing towelettes, but I decided I wasn't going to buy them no more because I was going to try to use the oil because the oil is cheaper and I'm cheap ass. That's why. <laughs> so, this is an awesome cleanser, y'all. This Avene. Avene Cleanance Gel. Ugh, I hope it zooms in and y'all can see it. Like, you can barely read it. Avene Cleansing Gel, that's what it's saying, okay? And it's blue. It's a little blue, little cleanser, and that is awesome. That stuff, if you can find it, is awesome. A Cure Brightening Facial Scrub. This is a regular scrub, girl. Um, it was nice, but it was, it was just regular scrub. The Clinique Liquid Facial Soap. This was okay, but I would say this is the oily skin formula. I say it's a little bit more harsh than this. So if you want something that's not as harsh, you go with the Resist from Paula's Choice, but you can go with Clinique. I think this is more pricey actually than this one. I'm not sure. And oh, everything's falling at me, girl. Okay, so here is the Glam Glow. And I didn't use it, that's why. Because this one is like the hydrating mask. Everything rubbed off of it. So I can't read to you what it was. There's like nothing on the container. But it's supposed to hydrate my skin. And I didn't like the way it felt. I should have used this in the winter. But I'm pretty sure it's expired by now. I think it says six or nine months. But I'm pretty sure I had it longer than that. So I'm going to throw it out. Yeah, it says apply an even layer, leave on, or wipe off after the desired time. It's just a moisturizer. But I, I never really use it because I didn't like it in the summertime. It just felt really gross and icky. So here is the Furic and Retinol Triple Correcting Eye Serum. This is like I had the facial serum. This is the eye serum. And I really did like this too. But this one is way more expensive. And this is 0.25 ounces. So, girl, I use every drop. I mean, I took the whole thing apart to get it out. Like, there's nothing up in there. Okay, nothing. This was super good. Dr. Dennis Gross. I have one of these um, intensive retinol serums from uh, Paula Choice. This stuff is amazing, okay? This resist line, y'all, is like to resist aging. I do love it, and if I can afford to buy it again, I will. Maybe I'll just buy like piece by piece. Here's the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream, and this is really good. I'm going to use this this summer uh, when I run out of that moisturizer. This is the moisturizer I'm going to buy. This Clarins Restorative Total Eye Concentrate. I didn't notice the change. Um, this L'Oreal Eye Defense. Um, I used this years ago, and it was really good. I didn't finish it because... It was just sitting up in my cabinet, so I just threw it in here to get it out. So, but it is really good. I actually need to get that container back out of there because I went to the store trying to look for that stuff because I was like, oh, the Clarins one didn't work, but the L'Oreal one does. And y'all, I could not find it. So I'm gonna keep this container and try to look for it again. And I'm pretty sure I was someplace like Walgreens or Family Dollar. Girl, I was someplace Walmart, someplace which you would not expect. So here's the Bare Minerals Renew and Hydrate Eye Cream. This was kind of good, but um, honestly, this was better, in my opinion. This is winter, this is summer. 
This is light gel, heavy cream. So depending on what you need. And this is a big container. And it's for a, a nice price. So if you need something heavy for the winter, you get dry under there, I get dry under there. Bare Minerals Renew and Hydrate. Here, this is from um, Avon. And it was just okay. I liked it because it has the SPF 25, but it was just okay. Um, it looked it a little oily. And this is the a new reversalist day cream. So again, I don't really like creams. I prefer a gel because I'm super duper oily. Here is from Paula's Choice Resist. This is the um the daily pore refining treatment. So basically it's just like um how you would use witch hazel or a toner. That was pretty good. And then I have the CVS oil absorbing sheets. These are the ones I always buy, the little cheap ones, and they work great too. So that is everything. Next time we will do the body care items, okay? And I will go to the store and see if I can try to find this stuff again because like I said, in the summertime, this is bomb. So thank you for bearing with me. Stay until the end of the video. If you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. I want to thank all of you. I want to wish you a happy, good Friday, good weekend, good Saturday, good Sunday, long, happy weekend. Even though I don't know when I'm going to put this video up. Maybe I'll put this video up tomorrow just for y'all on Good Friday. Wouldn't that be a nice little bonus for the week? Because last week I did y'all wrong. Left you hanging. So, um, I'll try to get this up for you guys for a good Friday and... Have a good weekend, and I will see you next time. Deuces.